Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Exogate Initiative. Let's un... Uh, we, we demolished the, the last bug wave that came in. That I'm very pleased with how that turned out. Let's get all of our mission... Uh, our recurring mission teams going again. Great. All six of them. And then, ooh, this room is ready to go. But we should also see if we can, um, get any further with any of these other missions here. So this one, we need impact resistance, which we don't have yet. We need a mining team. That's right. I don't have a good engineer. Actually, let's before I send everybody back in, now's a good time to like take stock because I don't have an engineer who's just like around to um oh, Front Dragons the the team that I I use to to research uh new samples. Okay. So we can send Front Dragon to, to that place. Jacob Carter is also a pretty good engineer. I wonder if I shouldn't get some, some like basic engineers to replace, like, so I can pull Jacob Carter off this mining team because he's a level seven. I think I'll do that. Yeah. And, and I have a thumbs up on, on engineering this, this cycle as well. Let's do that. Maybe we can get two. We can hire two of the three, um, but let's send front dragon in. We should have two. Oh, interesting. If you wanted to do mining here, you would have to have exosuits on uh, in order to to mine. Um, let's send Front Dragon to this, this mission. Easy for them. Go ahead. And now, oh, we still need impact resistance. Yeah, we're getting to the point where we don't have the next level of exosuit technology, so we should think about getting our hands on some of that stuff too you don't need suits which is surprising and neither do you huh we're kind of connected all over the place here okay so we have three sectors here this one requires suits Let's get a, a, not a weaker team necessarily, but a team that's a little less experienced, maybe. Galaxy Trio is a really high level team. Milkshake is easy. Maybe what we do is pull out off this team, throw... Uh, I guess throw Ajay on there? That seems really low then, though. So maybe throw Carolyn Brown, even though her mental health's not doing great. Needs a scholar and a soldier. Is that an alien? Oh, it sure is. Never mind. <laughs> I apologize, Out. I shouldn't have kicked you off the team. Pull Carolyn off again. Throw either Nathan or... They're both the same level, so just throw Oud back on there. And then, uh, all right. You guys, good luck. They got the suits. Now, we have a 9 and an 8. So, I'm thinking Galaxy Trio should be the the 9? Do we have a better medic? No, she's on... Uh, we don't have, a like, a great medic. Taco Cheese is a five. Oh, that's our new alien guy. Maybe we should pull him off Taco Cheese. There's just a lot of... Uh... We're just doing a lot of, of um, team management here. Hold on. Taco Cheese... I'm gonna pull Deto Sauce Ruler Sisson. <laughs> I 
what a great name. Uh, we'll throw Sophie Driscoll on that team. They can, they're, they're, they're strong. They can help Nicholas carry all the, all of the, uh, the ore around. Let's go back up here, create mission, and then let's throw Detosauce on this team. That's, I like that. Having a, I like having a medic and a soldier and a scientist on the same team. Um, and then we'll send Milkshake as well. And now we have, like, I think, like, every team has been assigned. How many teams do we even have? Sort by name? Level? Oh! Has that always been there? I never even noticed these up here. That's pretty nit nifty. Sort by salary? Sort by status? All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 11 teams. Which team is not assigned? It's Burger Bravo. Burger Bravo should be back in there because we've dealt with the invasion and we can maybe we can maybe push the Setosaurs uh like revolution to fruition. I would love that. Let's just build a normal door. The Scarb shouldn't be trying to punch through this door to get anywhere, so we have 6,000 energy. I'm still interested in putting... Like, we have so much money. We should just, like, continue adding turrets to things. Um, Don't want to cut off too much of the, the pathway to these different rooms. But I think this, like, so was pretty good. We are... What are we working on right now? Ah, servo-assisted boots. Boots... Not enough theories for new patents yet. How are Rajesh and Junju doing? Ajay and Carolyn are recovering. Julie Moreau is not on a team. Maybe we should throw Julie on this. This since uh, I assume Rajesh and Jun are like going into the gate, and that's why our our patent writing slowed down quite a bit. I'm also curious, like... Oh, we only have three. That's not too bad. Outstanding patents, that is. Bin J gained a level. Good job, Bin. Going in. Oh, right. New engineers. We have Sebastian Schultz, Luciana Lopez, and Jian Feng. And all of their stats are very similar. Honestly, Jian and Sebastian are identical, but Sebastian costs less, so Sebastian it is. And then Luciana also. Yeah, I'm tempted to, like, cannibalize this and turn it into another... Another, um... Workshop room. Especially if I, like, continue to dig out the wall. Like, if I make it like this. And we could even put a door, like, another... Another, um... What are, what are these called? Blast door uh, in the wall here. And then I don't think the Scarb would try to punch through three doors uh, when they have this one door here. I'm not sure how their AI works, but it just makes sense to me. Everybody's going into the gate. Literally every team has been assigned to do something in the gate. So it'd be very funny to me if I got every team <laughs> okay, that came back before I could make that happen. I was going to say, it'd be very funny if I could get every team in the gate all at the same time. But I just don't think there's uh, there's enough time to make that happen. Now, where would we want to send Front Dragon next? Is there our, our mining exploration team? I suppose it'd be this guy. What have we learned? We've got another Maglum site over here. As far as I know, though, I don't think you can run out of ore. So I don't really think there's a reason to ever go to a more difficult planet unless you're trying to get multiple planets mining the same ore. Hello, Exo. We don't know where we are and all of our equipment is missing. That is not good. You are on IH-452. I think they know the, what planet they're on. 
You still got your clothes though, right? Yes, they didn't take our who's they? They didn't take our uniforms, thankfully. Not that we're get it we're uncomfortable getting undressed in front of one another, as you've no doubt noticed in the barracks. Yeah, especially because our barracks has no walls. Um, but I'd rather not have whomever did this looking at us. Uh I this is a lie. Indeed. We're in some kind of glass enclosure with no memory of how we got here, but air is being recirculated. Oh, they're in a zoo! There's shady trees, soft grass, and even a babbling brook, which you can probably hear. I think it can stimulate our weather- simulate our weather, too. How could someone recreate Earth's environment here? That's a valid security and terraforming question. Perhaps they took some readings through the gate when we arrived? Or maybe they can read our minds. Any signs of aliens? No, nothing, but someone built this place. How were you- you incapacitated mm, failed the knowledge test given how woozy my head feels i'm guessing we were drugged classic alien abduction what you mean like ufos and such haha <laughs> good one xo can you get out the enclosure is sealed on all sides including above and below but i think it's large enough to open the gate in here assuming there's no interference that could disrupt the wormhole should i open the gate i appreciate that we're being kept here against our will but it could be a great opportunity to learn about an alien culture and besides, they might have taken our stuff, but at least they're feeding us through that slot in the wall over there. Uh, aha, weak point. Uh, alright, you can stay for now, but call me at the first sign of trouble. Understood, XO. Angel food cake out! I still really enjoy the fact that I had to make angel food cake one word. Because I couldn't put spaces. Welcome back, Shorma. And uh, we have finished the scientific expedition on whatever planet Shorma was on. So, I guess we'll move out here and send Shorma go to that planet. We'll just work our way in to out as far as like gathering more and more science. Now we're up to 919. Fantastic news. I think rather than finishing the equipment, because the equipment does take materials to make, um, I will continue to push our exosuits uh, upgrades here. So why don't we go... Why don't we just get all four of them, and then we'll just let them work through all of them over time. The base has also gotten very big, so we might want to consider getting more capacity of our builder bots as well. XO, it's Angel Food Cake from the enclosure on IH-4452. We know what now know what it, this is. It's a zoo. It, it, we're exhibits in an alien zoo. I called it. You heard me. Oh, dear. Fascinating, I think. Over the last couple of days, other enclosures have been assembled near ours with a whole host of different aliens inside, all intelligent, I think, and segregated by species. Some seem like new arrivals. Others, I think, have been here for some time. This feels like a grand opening gala of sorts. Visitors are now filing past and staring at us. What do the visitors look like? I think they are species that abducted us. They might be hard to believe, but they resemble brains in jars from, like, from classic sci-fi stories. Our guess is that they've lost their bodies somehow, given the, the way they seem to be ogling us. We think they now live vicariously through the bodies of others. Uh, Lots to go in your field report, then. They su critically succeeded, yes! Once I've found something to write it on, ah, I can scratch some notes onto this large leaf using a rock from the stream. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just wait till you got home and and type it up? Good thinking. We can never know too much about our enemies. So are we staying or going? Uh, let's get you home. I, I'm. They've been there long enough. Your mental health is more important. Gear can be replaced. Did you lose your exosuits? No, they, they didn't. I don't know what they mean by they lost their gear. From Meta. Sarah Meta. Oh. Where are they? Inferno. It'd be cool if you could, like, put tags on the map or something like that. Just to, like... I know I can see where the aliens are, but I'm not sure which ones I've done. Like, the Inferno are done. I would love to recruit a Inferno. That would be cool, but I'd need that that um alien cultural whatever it's called. Oh, that's the nuclid. The renderfs. 
We have not created the defensive mission there yet because Burger Bravo is still working on the Setosaurs up here. Oh no, that's the Morphles. Here they are. Ah, the Sarameta stands towards aliens not yet defined. They are hostile. Yeah, we can't study hostile aliens. I've never found a friendly alien. They're always, like, ambivalent towards me. What are you going to do? All right, so we got that team back. We could send another... Ooh, oh, we don't have the stuff. We could send another team in with the their exosuits. But I don't see a lot of places that have exosuits. Ah, here's one. An eight. Headlight and air filtering. Okay. And then Front Dragon just get, went in. Or no, wait. Angel Food Cake just got back. Front Dragon's the, the mining team. Angel Food Cake's pretty low. So maybe we hold off on sending them in until um, later. Until, until we find a friendly alien for them to talk to. But otherwise, we could send Front Dragon all the way out here to check out this, this mining spot. Too tired. Understandable. You guys have been, like, running in and out of the gates quite a bit. Um, do I need more beds? Maybe? Alright, let's just fill out the full... I accidentally clicked on out there. Let's just fill out the full bed... the bedroom layout. Alright. I am pleased. Did Burger Bravo just get back and I've never learned about what happened with the Cetosaurs? Is that what happened there? Sure did. Now what? what? <laughs> maybe, maybe the, uh, the, con the, 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 it was concluded successfully. Did we learn about the Ferno entirely? We must have. Oh no, we didn't. Oh, use the library. I forgot about the library. It's been a long time since I've used the library. Sure enough. No wonder they were like, you need to learn more, you dummy. Oh, we need even more bookshelves. Holy crap. Hold on. We have to expand the library. Ah, who knew? Um, I think there is a thing in here. Let's go ahead and sell you and move you over. And then now we can put a bookcase here. And then maybe just like there and there. What is that? That's eight. So and we need, they said we needed seven. So let's leave it at that. Who knew we need so many books? <laughs> I totally forgot how the library even worked. All right, there we go. Nuclid here, Verno there. Let out and Nathan and their other, do, are they the only, scholars we have valerie got hurt go see a doctor valerie oh we can put in a, another another bath another back to tank shoot perfect i don't think we'd ever need to do more than one surgery at the same time but ah cool now we can move move all this stuff so let's go ahead and move all of our light exosuits into the closer room. What is that? Seven? Yeah, seven in a row. I don't... I have like a bad... I got, It's not really a bad habit. It's just like a habit from when I played like lots of RTS that I... Or... Or any kind of strategy game. I guess it wouldn't be our uh, real time. It'd be like tactical. Um, but like pausing any time I wanted to make a decision. Welcome back, Maglum team. Thank you for, for bringing lots of Maglum. We've also almost hit the limit of the Exonium that we can we can carry. Or uh, 
have stored, I should say. Still haven't found any cobium. Or, I think we did, but we haven't mined any yet. Where was the cobium? Here it is. It's a level 5. We could consider, like, who Taco Cheese is a pretty high level team from what I remember. I don't remember which our other... Uh, the Butterflies are the other mining team. They just got back. You'd think I would have remembered them, but I didn't. Go check on our patent writing. Make sure we're not falling behind. Ah, regeneration is ready to go. So is energy source. We should check on... Oop. You guys interrupted me. Looks good. We should check on June and Julie's mental health. Julie's doing fine. I don't know where June is. She's also doing fine. She's probably in the gate right now, honestly. Why don't we switch June with Ajay? Here, wherever he is. Here we go. Man, they're coming back fast and furious now. All right. We can send more people in now. So we finished all of this stuff over here. We shouldn't be connected like the way we are here. That's a little <laughs> It's kind of funny. Oh, you're a you're a mining mission. Okay. Go ahead and disconnect. I, I clearly don't pay enough attention to the symbols under the planets. Ah, here's a level 10 that we could go to. Tricky for almost anybody, though. Probably the best to do... Ah, Galaxy Trio is such a... They're a lower team when Dead Osas is on the team, which makes sense. Even with uh, Milkshake, it's a... It's a a tricky endeavor. What if we sent Milkshake... 1086? Yeah, let's send Milkshake to this one. 31% injury chance. We have one... Zero redu reduction? That's crazy. Alright, don't do that. So it's making me nervous to see a 31% chance of injury I guess it's always a 31% chance all right good luck and then uh we'll send galaxy trio to this one and then do don't we have one more team like I just want to look angel food cakes the other team that we we normally send out but uh I think yeah, they're still working on the data pack. The nuclear are in process. Ferno has not been processed at all. Do we only have Nathan and Oud on the... on the payroll? It kind of seems like that is the case. We do have a lot of extra people. I should probably put another mining team together. Um, To go for more Maglum. This is a three... This Maglum is a 5. That one's a 6. So maybe we should um, unassign Taco Cheese, assign a new team, call them Ion... Ion... Uh... <laughs> I don't know another name for a team. Ion Group. That, it sounds like a, a company. <laughs> uh, what's a good color for ions? I think we've almost hit the full limit of the color spectrum. I guess we'll do the other yellow. Uh, so Taco Cheese is a fairly low team, but they have Nick who's like really holding down the fort. So let's send out Ion Group. And we'll put... Um... We'll put both of the rookie engineers on that team, and then we'll throw uh, E on there just to get him some more experience. So, assign mining team. Validate. And then we will send Taco Cheese to this other planet. 
Oh, it's a high. Oh, I saw that. Oh, you guys are really low level. Do I have another ore planet that's like not as dangerous? Doesn't really look like it. That one's a five. You're a three, but we already have the butterflies there. Seven. That one's a 10. Like, <laughs> that's like gonna get somebody killed. Maybe I send them uh, just to this. Um, continue sending taco cheese to, to this. Uh, what are you called? Astral planet. Just to continue getting them experience. Uh, and then once they get a little better, I could send them to the to the second Maglum planet. Scarlet Adams, what is your problem? Where are you? There she is. Okay, she had a, an extra sample. Maybe we, that means we need more sample space? All right. We've got the space for it. Oh, and I did build this guy out in with the full intention of like going full, uh, full mirror mode here. Uh, like such. More games for everybody. All right, it's been a pretty tame episode. Just a a lot of building, a lot of exploration. Not too bad. Oh, we can we can sell all this in here as well. Maybe I'll leave it, and then if we really get like crazy with the amount of uh, exosuits we have going on, um, we might combine the two rooms together or something like that. But I'm pleased with how the base is going. We're down to three thousand power, so I think we should continue to sell these smaller generators here and swap over to the big boys. Yeah, we'll let those two be built and then we'll we'll sell this last bank at four or whatever it is here. Oh, I see what I did. Shift everything over. I was like, why did it why did the big generators on the other side get so screwed up? Because I had left a small one at the back. And now the double wall is coming back to bite me because I'm like, I can't fit anything in here. <laughs> but what we could do, we could make it a triple wall. <laughs> Although actually having this little, this little corridor would allow us to continue digging out um, back here if we so chose. Thank you for the Maglum team. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna queue this whole thing up to dig out. We'll we'll fill in this uh, this wall back here because I don't need that tiny little corridor. I don't think the scarb could punch through like our maglev or whatever it's called uh, anyway. But we'll just let them dig that whole side of the thing out, and that'll be like more power than we could ever utilize. I have to imagine. Yeah, things are looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Oh, Milkshake's checking in. XO. Oh, geez. There it is again. Come in, XO. Are you hearing this? I'm here. I'm not picking anything up on my end. Consider yourself lucky. Every 30 seconds or so, there's a noise. It's the loudest thing I've ever heard, and I've been to rocket launches. I've ordered Milkshake to wear their earplugs. This volume could do some serious damage. What kind of noise is it? Almost like a roar? Animalistic, I'd say. Any idea where it's coming from? Sounded like it might be close, but XO, it is loud. Could be coming from anywhere around here. Better stay clear of it, safety first. Nah, track it down. All right then, we'll try to bring as many earplugs as we can. And as you know, a healthy sense of trepidation. Let me know when you find something. Oh, I'm excited to hear what, what Milkshake has to find. Could be pretty cool. I almost wonder if I need to get another another foundry up and running. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Failed on a perception test. Okay, good. Adjusting noise canceling to compensate. We're pretty sure we've discovered the location of a roar. It's coming from a small crevice further down the canyon. Awaiting orders, though no promises we'll be able to hear them. Uh, We failed the perception, so apparently we can't do that. Um, 
Can, I, can you, you tell anything from where you are? Succeeded. Hey. Not really, Exo. It's extremely loud. It's is all about all I can say. Natural, too, I think, and very close. Maybe the crevice is its lair? Uh, are they good at perception? Julie is. Valerie's okay. Scientist and knowledge. Let's try the recording. Yeah. Good idea, Exo. It could shed light on how vocal communication has evolved on this world. Setting up now, just got to apply the buffers so we don't short out. Ah, yes, I have a full recording. Excellent work. Ah, oh, failed again. Rats. I should have scanned the area before the recording. I guess get down there and investigate? You're not going to believe this, Exo. We found the source of the noise. It's a, sm it's a small bird about the size of a sparrow. Explain. It seems it got trapped down here in this cave system. It's naturally occurring resonance chamber, amplifying this little fellow's cries for help until they reach dangerous levels. The bird is hurt pretty bad. Bring it back as a sample? We'll get it done. At least you solved the mystery. We got it quite the earful in this one. You did well to maintain comms throughout. What should we do next? Continue exploration. The loudest bird. Amazing. All right, let's pause the episode there. If you guys enjoyed, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more Exegate Initiative or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.